best shots. Um, you know, putts to win tournaments. Uh, Luke left me a nasty four and a half footer down the hill, left to right to win a World Cup. I made that one though. Um, four iron at the Ryder Cup, the hole in one. But it, even though that was a great shot, the pressure necessarily wasn't, you know, on me as much in that situation because David and I had played such great golf and we had such a commanding lead. We were dormy at the time that maybe that's um, <clears throat> not the greatest shot I've ever hit. Does it have to be pressure for it to be a really great shot? I like, I think it adds something to it, yeah. It really does. Um, just, yeah, you know, putts to win tournaments, even the first tee shot at a Ryder Cup, immense pressure. Uh, Oakland Hill was my very first tee shot in a Ryder Cup. Um, I hit it straight down the middle, and I've never been so nervous on the golf course before in my life. And to me, that will always go down as one of the best shots I've always hit. Because of the pressure, because of the build-up, and the and the having S Langer sitting all the rookies except for Luke on Friday, making us you know it, absorb the atmosphere and realise what a Ryder Cup was all about. Then having to get up there on a Saturday morning and stripe it down the middle, which I did. Um, you know, it, you had to think about that shot for a couple of days, and that's rare. With most great shots you hit, you're in the moment. You're you're as I say playing great round of golf and you pull off maybe an amazing shot down the stretch to give you the opportunity to win. But that shot was very different because you had to sit on it for such a long time and you'd thought about that for literally months. Um, as I'm sure any Ryder Cup would tell you, you've thought about that first shot. I'm now a Ryder Cup team member, a Ryder Cup player, and now I've got to hit a tee shot. And um, there's some, that's, that's unique. So uh, that goes down as probably the, one of the best shots I've ever hit. No, I mean, I clearly, it's funny how the mind clearly goes to the shank I hit off the second tee at Wentworth once on the par three. Did you get up and down? I think it was a Saturday or a Sunday. No, I made a seven. It ended up in the trees, in the ditch. I never knew there was a ditch in the trees by the third tee, but there was. Um, that was pretty crap, wasn't it? Um, what year was that? I don't remember. That would have been about five, six years ago, at least. Um, there have been plenty of terrible golf shots. There was a really shocking one, actually. I, I, I ended up getting to the final. I lost it within a year. I lost to Poulter in the final of the match play in Tucson. I played Camilo in the quarters of the semis. And it's about the fourth hole as a par three. And a score came in, and it was horrific weather, frosty hailstones. And um, I chunked a five iron on the par three so badly it didn't make the water hazard that was about 80 yards short of the green. So from a five iron par three, I still had 100 and, about 110 yards left.